Aloha everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on this uh, commission piece and transforming it into this stunner. So let's get into it! Oh, but first, first thing, we need to clean the whole piece. I used white lightening Dixie Bell Furniture Cleaner and give it a real good prep so the paint will have a long lasting life. I rubbed it with a toothbrush in between the carvings to make sure um, I clean it well. This was such a little dirty piece. Make sure you clean all your pieces prior to painting, otherwise the paint will chip off in time. We let the piece dry overnight, we went for a good sleep also, and see you tomorrow! I started with the drawer side and inside, which I painted with Florida Orange. I used the best dunk brush by dabbing the paint to create a soft texture and I let them dry in between layers for about 2 hours. I applied total of 3 coats of paint so it covers well the dark wood. Now it's time for our first coat, the Limeade. This pretty fresh color, I applied it all over the piece less the top as the combination between those bold colors and the wooden top will be amazing. I also applied Bunker Hill Blue around the frame as we will do some shadowing with it on the second coat, so this will intensify the color. I used a little brush in between the carvings to cover the spots that I wasn't able to paint with the big brush, which were actually so many, too many. If you have a paint sprayer, it will save so much time. Let's move working on the second coat. First, I started to apply Limeade with a flat medium brush. The next color is actually a crazy custom green we did for a previous project. It's a mix of Colonel Mustard, Trifro Green and a little bit of Pure Ocean. I applied it around Limeade and then just blending them together using up and down, side motions, but being careful not to mix the colors too, too much. The next color in the house is Mermaid Tail. I used another uh, clean synthetic brush and I just blended it a little bit with the custom green. In the end, all these shades will look stunning together. It's gonna be a vibrant one. New brush, new color and our next color is Peacock. Definitely our favorite blue and I applied it around the edges and blended it slightly into mermaid tail. Just make sure you take a little amount of paint so you don't cover too much the other colors. The last color is the magical Bunker Hill Blue and let the shadowing begin. I picked up just a little amount of paint on the brush, wiped the excess on a piece of paper and I started to do a kinda heavy dry brushing on the corners and edges.
let's move working on the side. I started with limeade and I made sure to go in between the details really really well. I also went with limeade over the frame, painting like a half of it for now. Then I took the custom green and I started to blend it in. Just make sure to take a little amount of paint so you don't cover completely the limeade. Then I brought in Peacock instead of Mermaid Tail, but I will add it later on when I realize I haven't yet. <laughs> I applied it mostly on the corners and edges, but I also went over the details peaks to put in evidence those knives carvings. Now I finally added the mermaid tail and brushed it on the details and then I came back with a little bit more peacock on the corners as I erased it with mermaid tail. It looks so messy right now, but just wait. At the end I just did like um, dry brushing on the corners with bunker hill blue. On the frame I will do a little blending, starting with mermaid tail, then I blended in some peacock also. I didn't know what I'm doing at that point if I'm honest with you. I blended in some bunker hill blue on the edges, then I said let's add some of the custom green and it was all it needed and I'm just really really happy with how this turned out On the drawer side we applied this beautiful stencil and we actually used the same color as on the outside of the piece. I sealed the whole piece with clear best dunk wax. I used circular motions to get the wax in between the carvings really well, as much as possible. I also sealed with wax the drawers inside and outside. I left the wax set for 15-20 minutes and then I buffed off the excess with a piece of cloth. On the handles I applied just a little touch of Cooper Gilding Wax and it's beautiful. The top was in a pretty good condition, so we sanded the fine scuffs with a 220 grit, clean it and then I applied Best Mama Spata in orange groove to revive and protect the wood and give it a nice smell bonus. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this tutorial or it just inspired you in any way. See you next time. Bye!